So, like, <clears throat> I find it very, very interesting and funny there. I'm just laughing because I was listening to a video and it mentioned um, about attracting and manifesting such beautiful, big, fancy words, your ideal romantic partner. And, like, I just want to say it's not an outside, an outside fix. It's an inside job. You don't just, like... You can't just be in a, in a low frequency or like a, a programmed, controlled, brainwashed, low frequency and suddenly attract like Mr. or Mrs. like g goddess or god, or like high vibe, enlightened, empower empowered, powerful, loving, integral, just, honorable, respectful and reverent being into your life when you aren't being any of them much or at all or regularly or always and expect to like vibe with that partner that person wouldn't person wouldn't be interested in you like you and anyway even if you are at a lower a certain state you wouldn't even see or recognize that that person as being like standing up for the truth spreading the truth being of service to empower others so like if you, the only way to attract slash manifest which is just like fancy words that i don't really even fully resonate properly I'd, I'd call it more like a vibrational alignment to allow in um, to your life. You could use the word attract if you really feel like it, but it's not like you get a magnet and you go, whoop, gotcha. <laughs> Nothing's going to stay close to you that isn't a vibrational similarity, and you ain't going to attract, you ain't going to like see anything that's not a vibrational um, closeness. And I've heard this before, and, and I, do re I do understand how it applies to our lives. So if you want to attract here's my advice if you want to get and have stay a relationship that you find very beautiful and sweet and and connected and happy and joyful and and mutually uplifting and wonderfully co-creative together as a team then make yourself and become choose to be a higher version of yourself a higher vibrational version of yourself go more from 3d into 4d and then more again into 5d so that means like work on developing virtues live an intentional life daily of who you intend to be who you choose to be there's no shortcut my friends that's what i, I started this video saying it's not an out an outward trick or get a big like a, get a magnet you know um, you can't like do a magic trick or like get something like special like that. It's all about an inward, an inward job. So, if you're already in a relationship and you find it like sad or unhappy and unfulfilling, then again, it's the same answer. Work on your own healing, work on learning, and work on raising your vibration and frequency. Now, that that can be a long journey because there's a thousand ways like. Um, just being poetically speaking, there's like so many ways we can raise our frequency and vibration. There's so many ways we can practice self-love and learn about self-love. It takes it took me enough a long time, and for me, I just want to emphasize the importance of this life as a journey. And we don't just like figure it all out today or tomorrow. This video will only help you steer you closer into the right path, but you will be taking the daily steps of intentional living and emotional maturity. And learning about stuff like pain body and shadow and trauma so you can work on emotional development where it's not just about being happy because anyone can be happy and work on happiness but it's about working on when you're unhappy sad depressed angry sad etc so it's not about working with the positive emotions because they're easier it's about emotional maturity and development is about how you manage and respond with your emotions that feel sometimes very uncomfortable and you don't not happy one bit at another person so that's where emotional maturity comes in and i've made dozens of videos on this which i won't get into right now okay i've made loads of videos on this and i have a free playlist blessing gift for you in my links links in the description below so please have a look if you if you want so um yeah just remember my friend i want to encourage you to be patient be patient and tolerant with yourself and and others and know that every, everyone else is on their journey too. And some are on an intentional journey of healing and, and emotional maturity. And some are, a lot of people aren't. But there's more and more people waking up to that every single day. So when we're more emotionally mature, we do less projecting and blaming and wronging and shaming. 
and we do much more taking responsibility for the quality of our life, our own emotional state, and the quality of our experience, okay, in any given moment. Um, so in my life, and I can only really talk truly about my own life, and I observe many other teachers too talking about relationships, but some of them aren't even in a relationship. So for me, you definitely want to learn from people who are in something that they're talking about and have a ton of experience. So I feel I have a ton of experience in relationships and I can talk very powerfully and truthfully about relationships. Rather than airy-fairy people who are around in a relationship, it also depends on how much trauma and programming you've had in your past and how much you have to clean up as well as your physical state too, which relates to your mental and emotional um, state also. So it's not as simple as ABC. It, it does have thousands of facets, thousands of elements to this, because life is a holistic game of body, mind, spirit, and energy. So um, I just care for you so much from the bottom of my heart, and I just want you to know that it's a journey and you will fall, but you just learn and get back up again. And the, my, for me, the greatest learning and the greatest five of the alignment is acting and responding and living from your heart. It really is, my friend. It's not so much about knowledge. as It's about knowledge about the heart and then living intentionally and, and acting out heart living and heart words and heart thoughts. So I've myself and my partner have like made a thousand mistakes, but they're not really mistakes. They're just experiences. They're just experiences to be learned from. And little by little, you may do the same thing. And I wish you truly the best, you know. Mm. I hope this video helps you. So, so the bottom line and the takeaway from this video is to work on yourself and stop looking for outwardly. Work on gratitude and appreciation for where you are and how you are and what you have in life at the moment instead of looking at what you're lacking, don't have, and where you're not, or who you're, who you're not with. Because I've made a lot of these mistakes, if not all of them. Of course I've done all of it sometimes, for sure. So, focus on gratitude, compassion, love, tolerance, patience, forgiveness. Definitely learn about understanding and listening, and peaceful communication, which I discuss in my relationship playlist below. I really encourage you to watch it. It's life transformative. Um, and it's applicable. It'll give you a ton of homework to do. Like, there's so much things to practice. <laughs> but as I said, life is a journey from going from 3D up to 4D into 5D. And just learn to get there more often and stay there more longer. Because we'll naturally forget and get distracted. And get traumas come up and triggers. Where we will lose and get out of the 5D um, state of vibration in our life when people do things that we don't wish them to do etc that type of stuff or when events change that we wish didn't happen or aren't happening so um, yeah I want you to go forward in your life and be happy and enjoy your ride, the ride that you're in you know accept and love where you are and who you're with in life as friends, family and even relationships and if you, the more you go into a 4 and 5D, especially 5D state of energy, if you're in a, a bad relationship like one you don't like, you will accept your part and responsibility in co-creating that relationship the way it is. It won't be just blaming them. It's never one person's fault only, typically, you know. Um, but the more unconscious I have been in the past, I thought it was their fault much more, but it really wasn't. It was a mixture of the two of us, our traumas and unconsciousness. Um our lack of knowledge about how to deal with our own emotions and to communicate and listen. So with all of this, you will you will either attract slash make, create, <laughs> create, you're the creator, you're not just a magnet doing sort of a magic trick attraction. You will create, because you're a god or a goddess, you're an empowered divine being, you will create and co-create a beautiful, blessed relationship of happiness, peace, joy, and harmony the way you want more and more to be a construction process It'd be like your constructor a builder you're building this with your partner okay so we th I don't really resonate with using fancy words too much because it's just an un ungrounded you're only building and constructing and making a relationship that works and feels really good gradually same way as you build a building 
100 people building a massive building, it's a gradual construction process. So you're going to make progress, but unlike constructing a building in a relationship, you're going to like forget and get triggered and learn and make mistakes. No real mistakes, just learning experiences, things that don't work. And you're going to learn what does work, and then you're going to keep building then and better the next day or the next minute. So that's how it works, my friends, just to be realistic with you. It's not about fancy magic. It's not about spiritual new age words that are a bit too fluffy and airy. Once you get the real world, we aren't just spirits in non-physical form right now. We're spirits in physical form. <laughs> and we're meant to be grounded in the physical body, doing physical, real life stuff. Okay? And that involves thoughts, words, and actions. Simple. So, yeah. With this information, you're now empowered to start making changes within your own mind via your thoughts and your outlook and perception as well as your intentions and then you're going to speak and do what you've intended and learned and thought about so that's how it works truly and i wish you a beautiful day a wonderful relationship and i don't even care badly i don't mind if you like have learning experiences in fact i want you to have learning experiences and so do advanced civilizations and ets or galactic beings and, like, and so do their spirit family our spirit guides and soul f- our, 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 our spirit family our guides, our angels, like anybody like that they want us to learn same way as we want our children to learn we don't just wrap our child up in bubble wrap and keep them in the house all their life we teach them and guide them we learn, and they go out and they experience the world little by little depending on their age You know, they experience the world so that's what we do and there's no mistakes it's just learning experiences Okay, so stay optimistic, stay positive That's all I want to say. If you feel you'd love extra, truer, deeper guidance with me one-on-one, I do do relationship coaching. You can check out the link below. Befriend me on Facebook or Messenger or email me and send a private personal message and I'll be happy to work with groups, couples or singles, individuals on raising our vibration, healing, empowering ourselves so we're equipped with knowledge and wisdom to shape and create mold and sculpt our life the way we would love it to be okay that's the process one day at a time up and down etc 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 okay including making the m-i-s-t-a-k-e-s the whole thing people call mistakes which ain't really mistakes at all so go easy yourself love yourself forgive yourself and extend the same to others that's 5d qualities okay let go of judgment love each other forgive and understand and work to build support and nurture they're all grand words we can work with them it's hard to work with track the manifest to a certain degree anyway it doesn't really matter I don't mind if someone really wants to use those words I just feel it's easier to teach and to understand as a, as a student other well, words that are a bit more grippable tangible holdable understandable have a nice day my friends lots of love thanks for watching give this a share with your friends and family social media hit, hit us up a like support the channel's message and of course leave a question or comment if you want to share or add in anything that maybe I missed something really important who knows share your joy share your knowledge and wisdom feel welcome